300, and 300 seconds is just crazy for this level. I'd call it easy if you gave me 400, but you had to give me 300. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I did this wrong yet again. Wrong order. Cause he wouldn't make it that hard, would he? <sighs> I see he would go for hard, but not uber impossible. Although that's what I did, so... It's also a possibility. This deserves an uncut video just to see how long it takes for me. Okay. This might be the intention. No! Oh... Dude... When you make me say dude, you know your hack is hard. Because I usually have a lot of patience. Save state abuse. Plus strategy. And a whole bunch of other stuff. I hardly care. Come back this way. Okay. Hope that worked. Maybe it won't really be that hard, but it still counts as hard. That's the easy way out. Only now am I running out of time, though.
Yes, it's a good thing the big boo boss does not actually hurt you. He just taunts you. But not as much as those ghosts. For some reason. Yes, normally those... Normally those ghosts are not supposed to taunt as much, but because I'm above a pit, that's where the pain kicks in. <sighs> no music, because I beat a boss, I suppose. Groovy. Out of the frying pan, into the... Corporate oven, aka auto scroll level, similar to the conveyor belt, which may be used for some corporate ovens, if such a thing exists. Actually, yeah, it does. How do you think they'd cook so fast without conveyor belts? Whatever. Whatever type of gizmo that they have. Are you serious? Oh, but of course. I forgot. The number platform floats in the lava briefly. TSRP2 takes advantage of that. If you remember the lava in space, as someone calls it. And probably spawned a habit. Hmm. Although... The graphics used are not the typical number platform. They're something else. But it still is a standard four-second platform. Hmm. Oh. That worked. I'm taking the springboard with me just in case. I'm also taking advantage of the numbered platform that floats in the lava. With the pause button. Courtesy of the pause button. See? I guess I did need the springboard. No lava to protect me here. This time it's just an actual fall. Is the goal right there, though? An arrow usually suggests it. Four, three. Once again, though, it will float in the lava. Probably at about the same speed of the auto scroll itself. As I've analyzed. Hard to see where the platform is, unfortunately. If only it could have been more transparent or something. Ah. I will not let the springboard get stuck in the lava. Also, not let myself fall in. Well, here's where the Kaizo. The special world is where the Kaizo inspiration kicks in. Obviously. That's probably a habit of most ROM hackers. 
maybe including myself. Okay, no more auto scroll. However, I am going to have to depend on that hammer brother, as it seems. Hmm. That worked. Next time we take on the Mondo.